Back we are to Warcraft and back to Group B of the round of eight here in Ted Cup 10. One of our most beloved tournaments. We got shout out to Ted for providing this. We have ourselves a Knight of Mirror. Both players lost in the winner bracket semi-final. No shame in that, especially for Colorful. Losing to Lin can happen to the best. But now, yeah, Lolight uh, off raised in the first round. That shall not happen again. No, 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 no. It's a Knight of Mirror. No shenanigans anymore. It's the fight for survival in this tournament. The winner goes up against... Goes up against... Focus as the decider. As my overlay is tricking me, guys. I don't know why that is. Hopefully... It's able to fix itself in a second. Hmm. Apparently not. Okay, we have to live for the first map with a broken overlay. I apologize for that. You know, bugs can happen. We got... Colorful on the right-hand side. Law Lyot on the left-hand side of Amazonia. Yeah, this can take a while. <clears throat> this could definitely take a while. Yeah, no chance to fix it here. Some Warcraft related bug, I think. So, colorful with the Demon Hunter. We got Law Light with the Demon Hunter. That is the norm. Uh, okay, one creep goes to the Ancient of War. Yikes. And they're rushing to the shop. Is he stealing the circlet away? Ha! Neat! Worth it? Not sure, but take away more power from the Demon Hunter for better exchange in the mid game. That's nice! Yeah, you see the difference here. Like, the light is in this very good spot. Draining Moon Juice. Easy. Ah, uh, is he playing with fire here? He's draining so much juice, though. He will have to use some himself, but... Alright. Tech on the way, one third. Oh, ow, ah. Now colorful of course. Oh, miss! Miss is the one hit he needed. Was not a kill, though. Colorful is already in a little bit of trouble. Lolite camping at this spot could be a little bit of a surprise. Wisps everywhere, more archers. Will we see just straight up bears? Lolite showed great Night Elf Mirror versus Moon in the group stage. Also on this map. Ooh, sneaky law lied. Okay, but Colorful is not falling for it. At least not starting the creep spot, not getting archers and snared or anything. Can you scan already at this? Yep! That's a kill. And it's not the best Colorful ever. Throughout the entire day, his plays versus Lin were already a little odd. And here he's just a little unlucky, I think. Town is under siege. And now more pressure. Thanks to the Naga, Frost Arrow enabled. Demon Hunter movement a little wonky. Trying to reach though. No boots on either side. With the boots, I think he could have chased. Four archers versus three. This beast of a demon hunter might be forced into a town portal here, though. Colorful fighting back. 
And see, are you in range? He doesn't want to stay in range, apparently. Wants to contest the middle more, so... It, Colorful is unable to go to that spot immediately where the Engine of War is already in position. Nice. Wait, he's playing tech without lore? The hell is this? There we go. Incredibly fast. Demon Hunter of Lawlight, not part of the creep that's going on with the Ancient of War. He wants this Cobalt. He wants this Cobalt bad. But first he wants the Naga. There's more mana that can be burned. Uh-oh. Another Frost Arrow. Whoa, so long range. I think even Lawlight didn't really expect that one to come out. And colorful. Seems like he's in a world of trouble. Naga's able to get back in. Lolai has no town pole anymore. Hold on. No staff either. Naga has to be sacrificed. But Naga falls on both sides probably. Fork lightning. No way. Oh my god. Are these guys playing with fire here? And now there's a reveal. This leads to more killed archers. Hot damn. This is fun. No, 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 no. Ooh. Naga denied indeed. Bear's coming. And Naga is soon to be back. Oh, Bash. Whoopsie. This is so close. This is all so close. Okay, we can finally heal up a little bit. We get some tier 2 units. We're on the way to tier 3. Bears will be coming soon. And I hope they continue brawling like this because uh, I am entertained. Big mana. Throw away item. <laughs> yeah, the light definitely on the edge here today. Living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, you said it. T3 done. We're sharing the mercenary camps. Both at the slot machines for the Vambora to get the big advantage. Lola, it had a... Was it a week ago? Was it 10 days ago? I'm not too sure. That newish style with the Keeper third. Flute here. Meh. Boots of Kel'Thalas, okay, now Colorful's Demon Hunter is the better one by far. lag for me and not for the players. That was odd. Okay, my Warcraft seems very bugged today. Here comes Lawlight. Two bears ready. How aggressive is this going to be? Heal scroll online as well. Takes the shop away. Oh, do we have an orb? We don't. Is he blocking the way? He is. He can't reach the shop. Has the town portal now. Goes on the cost of a dryad. And now he's repositioning right next to the shop. That must be an orb if he has the resources. Staff first. Orb of Venom 2. Those are huge upgrades. And Lawlight. He has no TP anymore. This is almost all in, is it not? One bear falling. How can you all in without an orb when you just reach tier 3? He's trying to kill the demon hunter. He is almost killing that demon hunter. Damn. Has to go for another potion here. And take some bears away. There's only 40 pop left. Archers should be taken out quickly. Lol, I need reinforcements though. Whew. A 
players' forces are under attack. We need a massive amount of reach. Okay, we get this Riju, we finally take care of that Berserker. It took a long time. So Lolite went home, he got an orb himself, Naga level 3, and zero, 0 upgrades, which is unfortunate. And another big brawl. Another big brawl in the middle of everything. We have heal scrolls, we have protection scrolls even. And that camp can't be finished. This bear has to be staffed. Or, oh, he can even micro him and use the redraw himself. Nice. This spell, pretty impossible. Oh, that bear Riju is just insane. Use the heal scroll on top too. And Colorful has a very, very nice concave if you ask me. Also the 1-0 upgrade. Bears for all either just falling in quick succession. And that Demon Hunter is an absolute beast. That push early on in the game into a Night Elf base. A little ill-advised if you ask me. Maybe even a little more than that. To be fair, he was like 7 HP away from killing the Demon Hunter. And so this could have worked, but Colorful held this nicely. Fifty pop here, fifty pop there. It's not too many bears though, right? Four. Still archers available. These armies are not ideal yet. Drums. Nice, more damage. Colorful gets the other red spot. Ancient Django. Movement speed on top. So yeah, Colorful at almost every drop gets the better end of the straw. Protect and scroll. Heal scroll. Colorful in the prime position, but Lawlight has shown Especially against Moon, that he can just outsmart people. Even though he's a little bit behind. Zapper is always an option. Zeppelin's always an option. Amazonia is empty. Item, item, item. Can't see it. Can't click it. Ah, not too important. Okay, we got 4.6. Naga is a little bit under leveled for Lawlight. Is there more heal scrolls there? No, nope, not quite well. Upgrades are 2 1 versus 1 1. Yeah, Colorful got a couple of advantages. Oh. 
could easily kill some archers for another bear. Yeah, Toxic Head is as well. It's a little unoptimal. <laughs> and Lawlight is already waiting for the attack to come. I mean, if you get archers in the back and they are uncontested, are under it's solid damage, but on the other side, you miss out on more reju. And they don't have, probably don't have marksmanship and all. Two two coming. Two two already finished here. Huh? Two bears just standing around. Two more coming. Seventy supply for colorful. Lolaitis is waiting, patiently waiting. A thousand gold now breaking up. Keep. Oh man, this has to work for Colorful. Otherwise, he's losing too many resources. And that's why he pulls all the wisps. Okay, Lolite, can you buy time somehow? Bears are cute. How do you even engage into this? If you don't fight, your base will be destroyed. If you fight, your army will be destroyed. And then your base getting destroyed. Let's see, Lolite. Can he work some magic? Zap on the detonate. There's still protection scroll running on quite a few bears here. That was nicely done. Two bears almost out of the fight. Demon Hunter very, very, very hurt. And the bears just take care of themselves here. Well, for Lolite, they're all falling. Care Bear arrives. Double redo. Oh man, this is well played. And two more bears falling, plus the demon hunter Naga gets it. Okay, level five. We're talking second hero out. But the demon hunter needs Rejo, man. He needs something. Staff is ready. Playing with fire. Is there moon just left? All the bears going extinct here. Needs a little bit of help. And the archers are actually having some value. But for colorful, everything is more healthy. But for how long? Demon at level 5 now, of course, getting solo experience. And that is cleaned up, is it not? Oh, one. There's a chance for a triple kill. Zip, that's one. Naga, though. Lolite, careful. Now he's diving deep. Away from the shop. The Riju is godsend. They're trying to block, trying to get in the way. But now... He's getting the healing. Wow, Lolite holds. That was not easy at all. Help of Moonwells and faster. Oh my god, oh my god, there's no TP. Naga's not back yet. C can he slow again? Somehow, this spell works. Experience is dead, even. 8 XP apart. And moon juice are almost all empty. It can work. Wow, colorful down to 44. Can work with potions. But for how long? That bear is down. Insane! That was 16 supply advantage for colorful. There's no lumber anymore, exactly. Toxy says it. Detonated all the wisps. And the naga is still gone. Don't overpace now. Steph? Yep. Okay. We're not making the same mistake again. Holy moly, that was quite strong. A player's forces are under attack. Colorful also. Did not queue any new upgrades. Same for Lawlight, who's getting Ultra Vision now, though. All Stars 21 Law, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Insane, how long he stayed at 50. And made it work. With the help of seven moon juice, uh, seven moon wells.
having an eye on these Huntress Holes for more upgrades. It's not coming yet. Naga close to five. Colorful, of course. That's a big advantage here. How does this game end? With metamorphosis, maybe. That's a way to end the game. And the main bases are empty. Okay, who has the better fights? Who has the better equipment? Invo potion for Lawliot. Doesn't need it now. There's a staff. No consumables at all for colorful. Mercenaries? No, not really. More bears, 60 pop. Our light is making the way across. Oh, Zeppelin, they have. Oh, he has no resources left. No nature's blessing either. And another fight. Alright, Lolite wants this. Reju, Reju, Reju. And now we brawl. Invo Potion committed. Wisps committed. They don't want to go into the 30 minute mark. Uh uh. They want to close it out now. Four bears hacking away at this one. It's a solid advantage here. Lolite might be able to get items soon if the Entangled Gold Mine is finishing. But who needs items when you can just kill the opponent's hero? Frost Arrow! Can't blow the miss! But he gets it anyway! <laughs> GG, Lolliot is a beast. God damn. I think he could have waited even a little longer to let the expansion pay off because he was faster there thanks to the Ancient of War. Uh, the the uh, Nature's Blessing. But man, impressive. Very impressive. To hold the 70 supply push... by colorful this maximum greed and it paid off it paid off so well and that means 1-0 for the Korean and match points Lawlight wins the next one, then he's also qualified for the lower bracket final against Focus, where they probably will play their main races again. Are we playing Turtle Rock? Yes, we are in a Night Elf Mirror, no less. Hmm. I really hope the overlay is working again, because I restarted everything. And then it should work. Usually it does. Sorry about that. As we kick things off. Is this gonna be the first... <laughs> the first series that's not going to... Oh! I wouldn't mind. A little more time with you guys out there. In four hours, we continue with our weekly cup. Can Happy be dethroned? Is Dice gonna be there again? Is Dice gonna be in the final again? Or can Grubby overcome him this time? Will Grubby even participate? Questions? No! Oh, hey! hey.
And now things kick off again. <laughs> Excellent arm and curly in a Twitter feed. Excellent pointlessly burning bridges like always. Ah, unfortunately I can't read this. So Overlay is working again. Thumbs up restarts. And that means we have match points for Lawlight. 1-0 for him. Turtle Rock in Night of Mirror. What's the matter there? Haven't seen it in a long time. Is it bears as well? Is it more range? Grubby not signed up for the weekly. He usually signs up like five minutes prior to start. So, is there any potential for Podum, for other pushes? For a keeper, because you can creep so well? Or is it just Demon Hunter Bears again? Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter. Okay, I think there's a small chance for mass range. Bear strong here. Yeah, later, yeah. But maybe you can abuse the timing earlier. I don't know, both, since we have cross positions, both will have a lot of time. Maybe talents, you say? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I like range builds on this map a little more. Because, like, especially here, everything is just clumped in the bear fights. There will be a fight for the Naga, of course. We all know this. And I'm very excited for this. Okay, not much going on in the early game. Is Demon Hunter and Talents a thing? I thought it's always Keeper. Uh, it's the old school way, I guess. You can also play Demon Hunter Keeper, but I think you want Naga for the... For the tempo. Sir Samsa, thank you for the 10 month resub. Go Lawlight! You don't want the semi-final of Korean citizens? Uh, Chinese citizens? No? You need Koreans in there? Two Koreans, two Chinese? That would be something. Two Chinese already there. Plus, of course, Lin. A player's forces are under attack. Very mirrored creep routes at the moment. Items also almost mirrored. Lawlight again with the circlet. I like that move. Pretty Sonic inspired. continues with great items on the other side boots the item was sold immediately boots and staff huh mm. interesting how in amazonia we haven't seen a single boot One of these games uh, that fuel the fires of hating Night Elf Mirror. What's the Arch account saying for both? For 
And four. A town is under siege. Doesn't look like mass range to me then. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky. Sneaky and annoying cloak. Is he waiting for the lures? Yes, he absolutely is. Oh, what a lovely play. Lore delayed. He's also kind of lowish on lumber. And he just stays there. Can staff out if he wants to. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> Four units around, not bad. So, will Colorful fall for this? Yeah? Yeah? He doesn't have the resources. How long can he afford these archers just to stand there? There's still enough, right? It should still be closed. Keep a second for Lawlight. Look at he. He's going lowers himself though. There is once again two chances for a vamp aura. The two red spot starting positions. Ah, oh, the moment he moves away, Colorful goes for the Naga. Okay, that trap didn't work. Lost a bit of creep speed. Triple mind game. Right on. Reveal was very nicely done. Warcraft engine allows to encircle with three units. Nope, only if there's a tavern around or something. Any building or a rock or whatever. Naga might be hitting rock bottom. ka -ching! Again, an early Naga kill on the count of Lawlight. Well done. Colorful, kind of, sort of, forgetting about the bear upgrade. Goes Dryads and Abolish first. While well, Light is already in good way. Abolish, ready, Adept, ready, Tech almost ready. Oh, good block here. And finally reunited with the rest of Sami. All right. Lawlight wants to go into a creep game, I guess, with the Keeper. Why wouldn't you? He's strong late game. Pretty sure I've seen this three units around. No, that's impossible. Not in a real game, though. Hmm? What's that supposed to be? You need four units. In an open field, you need four units. Otherwise, impossible. Three Kodos, impossible. Scroll of the Beast, redundant. Red spots are important. All oh, red spots are so important. Consumables to a degree as well. Not as in other matchups though. Three MGs, no! Forces are under attack. I need 20 units for us around. <laughs> You're it, Jen. You know that. You know that, right? Walker 3 more viewers than Street Fighter 5. Hadouken! Shout out Street Fighter community. I love them. <coughs> I love a lot of fighting games, actually. Especially in casters. God tier. So belt of giant strength here. Not crazy good. <laughs> Cloak of flames. Okay, that's nice for a demon hunter. That's really nice for a demon hunter. A player's forces are under attack. Oh. 
Two red spots for both players. Evenly split. How's the experience looking? 50-50 for now. Oh, Legion Doomhorn. Oi, 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 oi. That's too massive for us for Law Light now. Colorful. Kinda. With good items as well. With a cloak, with a claws, plus nine. Room with the Magi. <laughs> he wanted Aura. He wanted Devotion. He wanted Vamp. Didn't get it. And now Law Light must feel good about this. Super annoying archer, lol. And more creeping. Dead even XP at the moment. Colorful could fall back a little, go for the turtle between the camps. Uh, between the starting positions. But also, that Thorns Aura too. Against upgraded bears is nasty. Low light with an orb now. Trying to force a TP, probably. Moon juice all empty. Do they have staffs? One at least. Oh, everything is pretty hurt after creeping. And the cloak is adding to that. Wonky, wonky. Is next to the shop. Has all the resources. Needs a potion soon. And now he's fighting next to the Tree of Eternity. Damn, Colorful is diving deep for this. War used potion. Oh no, right next to the demon until it just falls. There's an invo potion here. That's a good one, of course. And Lawlight is in deep trouble. The keeper is kind of nice, but didn't really work out, huh? Everything just dead. The dive works out. And he takes care. There's still dispel. There's a lot of dispel. And yeah, wasn't an open bear fight. Then the aura of the keeper didn't work too much. Well, 20 supply lead. Keeps a couple of bears alive, but yeah, he needs his demon hunter back. Only starts it now. After 30 more seconds of fighting. Yeah, Colorful can probably expand now. Auras didn't really work too well. <laughs> Ancient of War made it here into the base. I smell a three mapper, everybody. Yeah, Colorful just wants to end to seal the deal. Free Jack, no TP, just the staff of preservation. Can something slow? Doesn't even need that. Four units around. Okay, kind of ish. I thought that would be dry. It's coming from the right hand side. Then with slow, this would have been a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another kill. Boop. Somehow impressive that Lawlight is fighting back and trying to close the supply gap all in no upkeep. But. Colorful in full control. No shop anymore for potions either. You don't want to deplete the moon wells now, really. Because then they're empty during daytime. <laughs> that cloak's doing so much damage. Look at he! Must be GG, no? 10 supply lead. Once again, Colorful pushing into Lawlight's base against the Moonwells. But this time, unlike Amazonia, doesn't really matter. What can he hope for? Getting bullied pretty much everywhere. Base raised! Leveled rather. Okay, one last try. But he has no moon wells anymore. He needs to annihilate Colorful in a fight now. With the demon hunters absent. Okay, maybe. 
There's a full mana dryer to dispel every single entangle. Okay, now the thorns is of course working well. Demon Hunter was out of the fight for a long time. <laughs> if no light wins this man, it would be so surreal. But no, that is game. As uh, expected after the initial Demon Hunter kill. Colorful fighting back. He doesn't want to give up this tournament yet. Turt Rock belongs to him. In a rather uneventful game, I'd say. Except that one dive, which then lead or led to the win. How about that? So who's gonna win it now? Where's your money on? Is there still is is P uh, peanut butter pancake still around to do predictions? Otherwise, I might be able to do it. Stream deck prediction. Uh, huh. Okay, it doesn't work with my stream deck anymore. Sad. Okay, I want to see you cheer. Start a prediction. Who wins game three? Lawlight. Colorful. Submission period. Two minutes. There we go. Neo, ever thought of growing a mustache? I think it would look great on you. Not really. I think, uh... Nah. Maybe a big beard like Sai, like to like here, but it's scratching so much when you grow it. It's also warm. So uh, during summer wasn't the best, I thought. And then I opened a barber shop and a hamburger shop. And I get a million tattoos and only wear black, but I'm doing that anyway, so I'm fine. It's raining cats and dogs, isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? I love it. I think I won't get groceries today. It's just gonna I'm just gonna order something. But first we decide who advances to the lower bracket final to face focus. I agree, do a big boy beard. Yeah, I don't know how to do that actually. Thank you, Ewok Saiso, for the 913 sub. Sparta to Sasuke. Good boys. Sparta and Sasuke as well. Any tattoos yet? No. I kind of want a sleeve with cool band logos on them. But it's also expensive. And you know, as a Warcraft streamer, you won't make millions. At least not as a Warcraft 3 streamer. Or you're in China. Then maybe it's also possible. I'm still waiting. I offered somebody, if, if someone donates a million dollars, I will cast Rara Land in a bikini. <laughs> that was the idea yesterday, was it not? Artist did nothing wrong, tattoo on your forehead. Ay, 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 ay. I just want to see one million dollar donation on the stream. That would be great. Shit, I wish I had a million dollars. If you only have one million dollars, you should probably do something better with that than giving it to me. Just a uh, financial advice. Would be worth it. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. 
One million is not a problem, but in dollars, yikes. Can also be Euro. Yeah, we need billionaire Warcraft fans, that's for sure. But I guess they would also that would also ruin our DIY ethic a little bit. I don't know. I wouldn't like it if we can just ask someone for money all the time. You gotta deserve it, man. And put streams together and tournaments together with sticks and stones and passion. That's the Warcraft way. The Nama! Thank you for the 21 month reset. I mean, it's not a million, but every little helps towards the bikini, eh? <laughs> Ooh, insane items for colorful. Oh my god. Plus 10 already, plus the armor. Is it too late for Hunter Soul? No, there it is. I thought for a second maybe he's going mess AR. Man, but Colorful is in a prime position so far. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Introduce Elon Musk to back to Warcraft so he can promise to donate millions and then never do it. While tweeting some dumb shit about me? Nah, rather not. Good colorful. So fast and creeping, he slot starved already. I don't know. I don't need money to be happy. I need happy people around me to be happy. That's most awesome. And a concert every now and then. That's also very helpful. That's all I need in life. It feels like colorful is... Uh a lot faster, but here comes the Naga battle, the first action-packed moment of this deciding game. Nice evacuation, Lolite can't get it done. Feels like this series is slipping through his hands here. Dark Ork with the five gifted subs, much love for that, mate, much love. And this is um, this is hard to come back from inventory. Very very good. Lolite can maybe buy some time with the greater heal potion. Oh, yeah, these items are just insane. It feels like colorful. Oftentimes, the better end of the stick when it comes to items in Lolite matches. Neo knows how to play with our feelings. I mean, I I made you an offer, right? And then I tell it as it is. Hi, no. Oh my god, GG. That's game. Vamp Aura. On top of all these other items. And on the other side, Club uh, Ring plus four. Oh my god, that's so sad. That is so sad. In game three, Colorful's item hack is working again. Holy moly, this team hunter is insane. Okay, Vamp Aura only works when there's fights. So, just don't fight. Swing for the fences, go for the tree. Zappers, Zeppelins, all that good stuff. Oh, oh, oh. What's the EHP here? 
2500 or something? Can someone calculate that? There was once an EHP calculator for Warcraft. I kind of forgot where it is. Or if it still works. But yeah, chat is right. It's not just luck, colorful, deserve these items, right? Um, I mean, it was a little luck at the beginning, but then he played his item advantage really, really well and controlled the map really, really well. And of course, Lawline wants to go to the laboratory. That's probably his only way to win this. Now that calculation chat is wrong. You need to calculate evasion in as well. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Zeppelin there, but Lol I knows it instantly. Uh colorful does. Lol is getting bullied. To be honest here on this map. Don't tell me the Zeppelin is falling. Oh no, not enough damage yet. You never hear it all. Level advantage. Aura advantage. Uh, supply advantage. Heal scroll advantage. All the advantages for colorful. But okay, it's once again home term advantage, this time with empty moon worlds though. I feel like life ends here for Lawli at the tournament life that is. Yep, that Zeppelin did absolutely nothing in this game because colorful saw it from a mile ahead. This is tough to see. Trying to go for a kill again. That Naga for the second time has to go for down portal. Put some good units between Naga and Demon Hunter so they can't be damaged. Is he diving again? Not really, right? But That orb did a lot. Bears can still do a lot. Lolite holds for now. How is Colorful only on 40? How did he lose so much? Maybe Naga was chased away and Bears for Lawlight cleaned it or something? But still. Actually, Supply and uh, supply Lead and XP Lead are both with Lawlight now. I thought that Naga focus was it, but not yet. Zeppelin distracted quite well then, huh? Plus, of course, Moonwells. Night has just started, so... There is a chance! Door is open again! upgrades as well. <laughs> Flawlight wins this game. To be fair, we shouldn't be surprised. Ooh, two, one upgrade. 
upgrades right around the corner. Only one. Okay, 2-1 coming for Colorful as well. Different order, but same result. And it feels like in the recent weeks that Lawlite got rid of his mental blockade that he had when his opponent has Vampora. Just play around it. Are we getting some epic base trades? Who's faster than... Ooh, I like that Wellspring upgrade. Lola is a little faster with everything. Invis Demon Hunter. Ancient of Wind. Hippo against the Zeppelin makes the most sense against another Zeppelin. Greedy Lawlight. No TP. Oh no. Oh no. Invul Potion. Did he steal it? Ancient Django. Oh. That was so sick by Colorful. That was so sick. But also, can't allow this to happen. Can not allow this to happen. Cost the bear too. Colorful, a thousand gold. Ancient Django and Vampora. Yep, that's nice. I'm done. Why, Sean? Why? <laughs> Thirteen hundred gold for California. He's so greedy this time. Zeppelin is back. Does he not have the resources? I'm not sure. What does Zeppelin cost? Because I never played Zeppelin. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. Are under attack. Three one upgrade. Huh. Colorful can easy Q3-3. Three, three. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, there's the Zeppelin. Key to victory, but there's also a hippo. One hippo shouldn't be enough to stop it though if scouted well. Even if scouted well. Only a town portal against shield scroll TP. Slot starved is colorful. Oh! Colorful can easily smell this. Does he want to engage? So far, only Demon Hunter and Dryad. Bears are coming in too. Cloak of Flames, decent. We saw this before. But yeah, he knew that he had to TP out. And then probably it's an all-in coming. Somewhat-ish. Second Zeppelin is falling too. Man, Colorful's anti-Zeppelin strats are working out beautifully. Prepares for an AP. Okay, how is this game ending? Colorful breaking upkeep. We've seen that before. I 
Is it Zeppelin time for color? Double AP. Before, even a fairy. You know what? Not bad. Why not? Against Reach Roar. Nature's Blessing. Reinforced Hides. APs. Uh, Lolite should be protected. Not like this! Ah! Indeed. Miscalculated damage. Two minutes without the Demon Hunter. Life as a Lawlight fan is hard, everybody. Life as a Lawlight fan is hard. Okay. This base is so protected, though. A lot of bears are not actively part of this fight. There is a staff, so he can get them back into a very safe position. And everything from Lawlight can attack, including the trees. Plus instant reinforcements if he so desires. 60 seconds to the demon hunter's back. Kingdom 4 heal scroll here. These APs are so useful. What a strategic genius Lawlight is to put up these APs. Losses on both sides, but... That was what this base was designed for. He isn't even producing f and troll. Yeah, why would you break up, Kiva? Just get two glaives and that's GG. Damage type isn't that good, but... Lawlight, 1300 gold. So greedy. Seven hundred gold difference in upkeep. Careful, can't push into the space. He's expanding. Yeah, he's expanding. That's the right thing to do, Mister Full. Now breaking up keep oh he is double orb But he who oh, main base is a try mm. He has to hold on three six bears in queue three three and three two Colorful, of course, two auras. Hero advantage. Double heal scroll advantage. This is getting tricky. The bears aren't finished yet. This is also like five dryads, hippo, and fairy. Not the most efficient army, which is, of course, only bears. of eternity is moving across once again no reinf uh, no nature's Blade blessing low light establishing this base hot damn the fact that low light is still alive in this game is miraculous is he moving the two aps over yep already there already there 50 minute game coming well then, uh, I can't prevent the next ads, everybody. I'm sorry if they come in a in an unfortunate moment. It's a lot about positioning now. Supply will be evened out. Upgrades will be evened out. Positioning and items is what matters. 
Double orb, guys. Not too bad. But this is a problem for Lorelei. That second base. And I love how Colorful is keeping tabs on the laboratory. He's owning that laboratory now. A player's forces are under attack. Now I got the first shield scroll. But yeah, Colorful of course also a lot of time for upgrades now. He has no wellspring, though. APM is 10. <laughs> APM is around this. Oh, so misses the first little engagement. Lolite reclaims the lab. shouldn't move away from these APs. I wonder what he wants. Does he want a, z a zapper? Or a zeppelin? Well, light has to act! Off we go, apparently! Who has the better fighting skills? Who has the better position? Half the army of Colorful is not yet actively part of this fight. Engine protectors are coming in as well. This is the fight for the lower bracket final burst focus. Illusion super helpful. Staffed out all the heroes super low. Both demon hunters. Lolite is able to root them in. And the APs are helping. But 88 supply for Colorful. He's breaking into high upkeep. And Lolite might be losing a couple of units here. But so is Colorful. Demon hunter is coming back. He's not walking. He's staffing unlike Colorful. And here they are again. The, the level advantage, of course, still pretty crazy. Heal scroll committed. That was the last one in this fight. Nobody any gold for a Zaplon could be so good. Colorful is about to drop some bears. So is Lawlight. Neck and neck fight. Oh, is there another staff available? Because the Demon Hunter is about to fall. Level 5, level 5. But oh my god, Zap! And he didn't calculate it. The staff was off cooldown. Massive blunder again. Demon Hunter falling when he absolutely can't. And the 20 supply lead stays intact. TP out of that situation. And of course, two bases. Demon Hunter Tavern Revive. Yikes. That's just too many hero kills this game. Last fight alongside the APs trying to move these ancients into Tree of Life position so they can do something. You can do nothing here. I guess the DH couldn't bear it anymore. That's my humor. That's my humor indeed. A town is under siege. Okay. Can the ancients do it? Can Lawlight buy time enough? It should be easy to repair, actually. Damage isn't, damage isn't that good. And this, of course, exposes his tree. There's no TP. Engine of War. Starts to do some damage, but yeah, that's what it's all about. If it's, a just, if it's just a trade, it's super good for Colorful and probably the winner of this game. And there's no way to repair this. No way. TP, but he mows it down just barely. And that is two versus zero gold mines. And that is the knockout punch. Well done, Colorful. Really smart plays. And of course, then items help. But as I said, he deserved these items. 
for getting the creep spots and this fight is absolutely unwinnable this is a click territory another kill level six metamorphosis once again not allowed but law light is out of ted cup 10 winning the first map but then back to back victories by colorful who advances now into the lower bracket final smart and resilient play never really overstepped unlike the one fight on amazonia didn't dive into that fortified base and law light hero losses like this are not allowed at that level that was too much and therefore rightfully eliminated that means we get focus versus colorful as a decider of this group the winner of this match goes up against kaho in the semi-final and we go into a little bit of a break time for you to check out back to warcraft.com slash support to find out all the ways there are to support this channel keep the engine running and this project hot be right back <laughs> 